calm while everyone around him was jumping up and down and going a bit crackers. Dimi Constantopoulos, describe those final few minutes where, well, pretty much every Huddersfield player and most Borough players were camped in your box. Yeah, we were, we were under pressure. To be fair, you know, we, um, we controlled most of the game. And while it's 1-0, you know, the, the, the opposition team, they, you know, they're trying to get a, at least a point, get something out of the game. Uh, we didn't manage to kill the game off early on, and it was it was it was normal. Uh, so I think we defended well. Uh, I did my bit. The the lads did there, so that's what keeps clean sheets. Was there was there any point where you thought that the resistance might break though? Because Huddersfield did put the pressure on. They hit the post, obviously, Naki Wells, and and it, it got pretty pretty tense. Yeah, it, uh, we're quite confident uh, in our defending. You know, we uh, we defend really well in. The majority of the games we played, and uh, we keep uh, quite a few uh, clean sheets. And uh, I think uh, even when it gets uh, intense and uh, when we're under pressure, we know what what we have to do. Uh, obviously, we don't we're not under pressure in uh, so much in the, in the games, which is a bit different today. But uh, yeah, it's good to be in the action. <laughs> The, um, the, the manager, the head coach, Ito Karanka, has been very complimentary about you, about the fact that you've really stuck at it. Every time that, that another keeper has been picked ahead of you, you have supported them and you, you've kept your head down and just got on with it. If you take yourself back to the day you first arrived here under Tony Mowbray, could you have envisaged ending up in the position you're in now? Obviously, things, uh, things will be different. It were different then. He was a different manager. I came here as a, as a, as a backup and I don't think I'd... Uh, uh, I never shout to to get in the in the team. I was, you know, the, the new manager came and he made it clear from day one that uh, he doesn't care about names or or contracts or anything. And uh, as long as you put the effort in training and uh, in games, uh, he'll pick you. And uh, he kept his word. I, I told him from day one that you know I want to play. I, I, I feel good about my ability and I, I think I can help. And. Uh, Obviously, he's, uh, he's kept uh, his word and uh, I'm trying to repay him for the confidence he's showing me every game. And I don't know if you noticed this week, a former Middlesbrough keeper, Mark Schwarzer, has moved from Chelsea to Leicester at the age of 42. Now, he's, what, six years on you? He's six years older? Yeah. Do you reckon you'll still be playing in six years' time? I don't know. Mark, Mark, Mark is an animal. You know, he's, a, <laughs> <laughs> he's, really fit. Uh, he's a really fit guy. He's, uh, he's always... Obviously, he didn't have many injuries in his career, and uh, he looks fit. And when I saw him playing last year in the Champions League, he looked like he was 25. And uh, credit to him. Uh, hopefully, when I get to 42, I'll still be playing. But uh, no, it's uh, he's a great keeper, and obviously shows that uh, as long as you keep fit and you look after yourself in our position, uh, the experience uh, comes into play, and uh, you know you can keep going. You never know; you might be 42 and in the Champions League. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>